I choose it because it, well, one with things like COVID, you mm. can live in this instead of staying in a hotel. Uh, you can go away where there's not many people and you can spend much less money instead of paying rent or buying a home traveling this and if you don't like your neighbors or you don't like what you see the view you can just pack it all up and go somewhere else um, it's just more freedom many more americans are doing this now it's just uh being able to live more independent and uh, not having to stay in one spot now freedom to travel around the country. My name is Tim. This is my rig. I'm a, I'm a retired school teacher. I, I travel around mostly Arizona in my uh, old ambulance. I retired in uh, about oh six years ago. Well, I, I taught here in Arizona and then I went and taught school and worked at a school in the Middle East in Abu Dhabi. Um, and then I came back and, and did some bike touring, riding a bike across the country around the West Coast. Wow. Um, California up to Washington State, back to Arizona. That's a long way. It was, it was six months uh, and it was 4,000 miles and, and pulling a trailer with my I had two dogs and oh yeah I saw many people traveling like that when I driving up and down to highway 101 yes that's that's where I rode all the way up the west coast <laughs> that's you uh, <laughs> that was you and then after that I, I decided to buy a vehicle like this mm. and, and travel around to all the campgrounds and I got I sold a lot of my stuff and put things into storage and uh, got as bare and minimal as I could and, mm. and, uh, so I won't spend a lot of money and then I decided I wanted to travel and, and uh, it's a 1985 Ford uh, and the ambulance was used for search and rescue by the sheriff's department um, I've converted it into my RV or my home and this is a good vehicle to, to convert just because it's a really strong aluminum box that has a lot of storage on, around it. Um, it's four wheel drive, so I can go off into the mountains. Um, and because it, the, the box is, is aluminum, it, it's very strong. Um, it's made to carry a lot of weight, it had a lot. The, the sheriff's department, they already put this awning on it they put the table on so I didn't have to do much it already came with this awning yes why they put the awning on the ambulance uh, they they put the awning on it because the, this wasn't used to carry people it wasn't used as an ambulance it was used as a, a communication center so they put maps on there and they had radios so they could call the uh, people out doing search and rescue and it's a uh, it, it's good for going off the road onto rough roads. So you often go off road? Yes, I, I like good. to go in yeah. the desert or up in the forest huh. uh, in, and uh, places where most cars can't go because it needs four wheel drive. That's mainly why I chose it. I also, I, I found it, it was a good price and, and it- Would you mind to tell me how much you paid for this? I paid three thousand dollars. I wrote. Ford uh, 460. It's not a diesel. It's a gas. Uh, 460 is a big engine, so it can pull a lot of weight and carry a lot, but it uses a lot of gas. This antenna is a uh, for my cell phone, so it gives me good phone connection. Um, when I'm traveling. Those are stabilizers. They help the, the wheels to, mm -hmm. so when you hit bumps, it doesn't, so there, you don't get a lot of shaking and uh, helps make it smooth. Um, okay. They often put those on four wheel drives to, so that it just it helps the, the performance better. Um, 
the uh, the box. The reason I like this is it has all these storage for put, placing things inside. Um, and this it's a garage. This is all my tools and yeah. my my generator. Um, so sometimes I use that if the solar is not mm -hmm. working too well yeah. to charge everything. And then these are all my tools. Uh, this is a, a vacuum cleaner, air compressor for the tires, um, and then lots of well, spare parts. Uh huh. And then you have fan. And this is a, a heater that heater? I can use. Okay. Uh, if I'm in town or someplace that I can, that I can uh, get a plug in. I'll I'll plug this. Mm using the uh, extension cord yeah and then that powers everything inside uh, the shore power um, so that's what this box is for all the kind of my garage like you said um, this box this area is for my um, metal detecting when mm -hmm. I go out looking for gold yeah I have all my tools uh, and, and and just uh, things that I use for mostly for just out hiking and metal detecting. Uh, what did you find? Uh, I find uh, mostly garbage, but I also find I found some old uh, an old coin, hmm. an old buffalo nickel from 1926, and things like that. 1926 uh, nickel. How much is equivalent now? Uh, it, it's worth maybe 60 cents. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not worth much. The, uh, this vehicle has two tires, yeah, dualies on, mm -hmm. on the back, so it helps carry more weight. Mm -hmm. this, this is just for um, the chemicals and parts for the vehicle, just for uh, a spare belts and yeah. supplies like that. And then this box, I carry some extra fuel. It's pretty deep. It goes back very far, so you can fit long things like a, a shovel. Wow. Inside. Oh. All the way inside, yes. Wow. Uh, for extra fuel. And then there's the back doors. Yeah. I, I put like camera, reverse camera up, so when I'm backing up I can see where I'm going, uh, because you can't see out the windows very well. And then lights, those lights, they I can use them when I back up or just to light up at night. Yeah. And then, um, and then uh, when it's sunny out, I put this up to keep the sun and the wind from blowing. Good. I charge most of my batteries with the solar panel. This 100 is, watt? Uh, 120 watt, yes. Mm -hmm. And it folds up, it's just a flexible. And then my lithium battery is this battery right here. And right now it's charging from the solar. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I can plug in things to it to, at night. Uh, this table folds up against the side of the vehicle and when I'm not using it it just clap with these uh these just uh, yeah. levers mm -hmm. but this is all aluminum and I use it for cooking mostly um, during the day I put my stove on and there is one more uh, compartment over here that I use for water uh, this is my dog's area and then I have the propane yeah. and then a little bucket toilet for emergencies mm -hmm. and, and for stuff for laundry and things like that uh, so yes lots of storage and this opens up on the inside also you don't have any other built-in water tank underneath no only no. just like the just jar the, no no built-in uh, inside it's it's not very tall mm -hmm. So I can't stand up all the way. I have, I have to bend over a little bit um, because I'm six feet tall. And um, I, I put this fan in here, uh, the max fan in the roof, 
and it uses a, a, a remote to control oh. it. It's a very, it is very nice and convenient. Um, in the back of the vehicle, I have my bed that goes across. I got this bed from Ikea. Um, and then below it, I can store things. I can put containers and a spare tire. And my dog's bed is in there also. She sleeps down there. You're not sleep with your dog? Uh, sometimes at night she'll jump up here. <laughs> she, she likes to get up there if it's cold. Mm -hmm. This came off of a Navy ship. It's light mm -hmm. uh, because it's aluminum. Shape yes. looks very comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my metal detector that I like to go out with in the desert. Uh, my clothes. And then there's cabinets up there. There's one with a lot of books. My library. Uh, this is my my bathroom stuff. Mm -hmm. This is kitchen cooking things. This has food in it, pantry. Up here are uh, silverware and plates. And then pots and pans. And then this is kind of a, a counter just for uh, cooking things and oh. miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. uh, no sink. No sink. No. Some people cut a sink and put it in there. Mm. I might do that someday. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is... Uh, and then you can walk through to the front cab. Yeah, the, the pass-through. It, it And it closes, you know, if I want at night mm. or open it up during the day. Mm. Cool. Uh, and this is my refrigerator. Uh, this, it runs off of either the solar or I can plug it in to the, uh, the, the battery, or I, it runs off its own. It has a battery that lasts about 10 hours, this battery here. And when it's cold to heat, I use the uh, Mr. Heater, the propane heater. The line goes into the, uh, out to that cabinet mm -hmm. where the big propane tank. Do you run that heater you know, when you sleep? No, no. no. I, early in the morning when I wake up, I turn it on if it's cold but at night I this sleeping bag is a uh, very good it this bag and a blanket keep me warm so that's all I need it's comfortable for just me and the dog <laughs> <laughs> big group yeah um, name her name is Twinkie yes Twinkie yeah. she's the boss <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> um, so this is my rig my uh, home Thank you for showing me your home. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Been doing two years. Aren't you tired of this traveling? Uh, no, I, I enjoy it. I, I, I go when, when it's, when it's summertime, I go up north to the mountains where it's cool. And in the winter time, when it's snowing up north, I can come down here where it's nice and warm and enjoy the desert. So it's kind of a nomad or nomadic lifestyle. Yeah, we are nomadic. Yeah, people. <laughs> Nomads and travelers and, mm. and uh, just people who have independent spirit and want to want to be free to move and go where they wish. Okay, thank you, Tim. Enjoy your nomad life. Uh, thank you. <laughs>
I see things, you know, that if you're riding along, buzzing along at who knows how fast in your little tin can with your windows up and your radio playing, you know, you don't see the things that I see and hear the things. You don't hear that creep down there. Um, and that's really one of the reasons why I decided to do this ride this way. I wanted to really see this country, the people, the cultures, the terrain, and already I've seen so much diversity um, in plant life, in, in people, in cultures, and you know, I've gone from the desert to the beaches to the forests, it's just spectacular, it's just amazing. 